Hey guys, it's Bing Ego here. Hi. Hello. In my base substitute lip colors video, I showed you an assortment of warm beige colors that are good to use as a base. And this time, I like to take some time to show you muted rosy base colors. Like last time, the products I've brought today are all lipsticks with a total of 10 different colors. You can easily think of the muted rosy colors as a soft dry rose color. So if you're someone who is cool toned and is for looking for a natural lip color or a base lip color to use in combination with other colors, please stay tuned. Before I begin introducing the products, today I called over two people with different lip colors from mine to try the products out with me. I've invited Karina and Rosaline. As each of us have different lip color, with the help of Karina and Rosaline, I hope to be able to show you a more diverse swatch of the colors. So let's get started. The first product is Misha's Stair Rouge Sheer Slick No. 10 All That Rips. When applied onto my palm, the Sheer Slick lipstick feels very smooth and moist. So even when I spray it out with my fingers, I could see how smoothly it spreads. While I thought the grayish rose color looked slightly murky on my lips and a bit deep for a base color, I do think this is a good color to use as an MLBB or base color. When applied on Karina's lips, it felt more lively than expected. I think the brightness of her skin makes it a bit livelier. On Rosaline's lips, the color seems to be a bit pinkish, but it seems to look like a natural lip balm. I think there will be a difference of likes or dislikes due to the strong smell of cosmetics, but it seems like a good moisturizing lipstick since it's a sheer slick lip product. Overall, I find that the color to be a bit murky on me, but in the case of Karina and Rosaline, it seems bright. The second product is Roman Zero Matte Lipstick No. 6 Awesome. Since this is a product that I reviewed a lot on before, I've talked about the formulation and application of this lipstick quite a bit. It feels a bit stiff at first, but as you continue applying it on, it becomes softer and feels a bit moist. When applied in gradation, it looks to be a lively pink color on my lips, but when applied in a full lip, it feels very strong, so when using it as a base, it will be better to apply it thinly by tapping it on. And similarly on Karina's lips, it looks pink and vitalizing it like it did on me and looks good as a base when applied lightly. On Rosaline's lips, on the other hand, it seems to be much more vivid and strong in color when seen in person, but I find that it really goes well with her. At first, I was confused because it seemed to have a very vivid and vibrant pink color, but I think it's usable as a base when applied thinly and lightly. And I think this color would be bright or a bit whitish on any lip. The third product is Tony Moly's Lip Market Recipe M No. 6 Rosy Haze. It seems to have a soft application formula, but is said to be a high color, long-lasting matte lipstick that provides vivid color with just one touch. It wasn't stiff, so it spreads on smoothly. On my lips, the red color seemed to be a bit strong for its name Rosy Haze, so rather than applying it with too much force from the beginning, I thought it'd be better to tap it on or apply it in small amounts. On Karina's lips, it was a bit more reddish in color and seemed to feel slightly bright because her skin is on the brighter side. And on Rosaline's lips, it felt more like a red-orange, but it didn't look to be as bright or strong as I thought. Contrary to the name, I was a bit surprised that the color was a deep red color. In fact, the colors look less vivid in person than on video, so I think it'd be a good color to use as a base. The fourth product is Keep Cool's Double Sensational Lip Ash Rose. Like a lip balm, it has a seemingly smooth and tacky formulation. Looking at the lipstick, it seems to be a product that can create a natural gradation It's side-by-side -side dark and light color application. On my lips, it applies on with a muted rose color with a natural gradation, so I think it'd be a good color to use as a base if applied like a lip balm. On Karina's lips, there was no nude filling and seemed to be expressed as a lively rose color, so I think it'd be good as a base when applied lightly and by tapping. And on Rosaline's lips, it actually applied on with a very natural and pretty rose color, but unfortunately, the camera couldn't capture of its naturalness. This lipstick has a very sweet scent that may not be liked by some, but since it applies on like a lip balm, I think it's comfortable to use on a daily basis. Also, since it's a natural light color that is not bright nor deep, it's a good rose color to use as an MLBB color or base. The fifth and sixth products are Edit Mood Matte Lipstick, Number Six Morning Brew, and Number Seven Syrup Drizzle. They're matte lipsticks that spreads on smoothly with a soft finish, so I'm able to see how smoothly it spreads with my fingers. While Number Six Morning Brew seemed to be a slightly warm muted rose color on my lips, it also seemed to have a muted rose color mixed with a drop of milk. On Karina's lips, she said that Number Six was natural enough for it to feel like it's her own lip color. There was no milk filling, but it seemed to be a light rose color on her. 
As for Rosaline's, number 6 seemed to be a muted rose color with a slight whitish tinge. I think it will still cool tone people well. Number 7 Syrup Drizzle on my lips seemed to have a much darker color than Morning Brew. When it was a drop of milk for the number 6 color, this color seemed to be a color mixed with a drop of red. As for number 7 Karina's lips, compared to number 6, it seems to be livelier and to be a slight bit darker pink color, so it's a good color to use as MLBB or as a base. And Rosaline's lips, number 7 seems to be a livelier muted color, but I think it looks a bit livelier and brighter on screen than when it was seen in person. The color I saw in person and color seen on camera when applied seems different so I was a bit disappointed. Since it's basically nude, I thought it's a color that cool tone people can easily use. And if you want a livelier color, I recommend number 7 rather than number 6. The 7th and 8th products are Pear Pear's Ink The Airy Velvet Stick, number 4 Bested Pink, and number 12 Naturally Healthy. They apply on as softly as a velvet lipstick and feel soft the moment you apply them on. When you spread them out with your fingers, they feel soft. Number 4 Bestie Pink seems to be a warm mix of bros and coral on my lips, but it looks to be a good base color for even those with cool tones when applied lightly. On Karina's lips, it also seems to feel slightly warm just like it did on mine, but with a bit more coral. Similarly, it had a more coral feel on Rosaline's lips, but it seemed to feel warmer than expected. The number 12 Naturally Healthy is a color that feels more coral than rose on my lips, so it seems warmer than color number 4, but it's still a good color to use as a base or as a MLBB color. Number 12 on Karina's lips looks similar to number 4, but unlike on my lips, it feels a bit orangish. This will look good as a base if tapped on lightly. In the case of number 12 on Rosaline's lips, it also looks similar to number 4, but it seems to have a bit orangish tinge, so I thought it would go well with warm tone. Overall, while these lipsticks apply on smoothly with their velvety texture and silky feel, you'll need to ensure that your lips have been taken care of beforehand as they can get flaky on the lips if not. And when looking at the color, both colors seem to have a warm feeling as they are a mix of rose and coral. The ninth product is Stone Bricks Blurry Lipstick 102 Ash Rose. Although you can see that the color applies on with just one touch from the swatch, it's very light as if nothing was applied on. It was applied so lightly that I did not feel anything when I spread it with my fingers, but I was able to see how smoothly it spreads. While it has the standard mute rose color on my lips, it seems to be a good color that everyone with cool tones can use with ease. It did not feel mute at all on Karina's lips, but rather, it seems to be expressed as a rose color. From how it looks here, it seems like a good base color for warm tones as well. And on Rosaline's lips, it looks to be an ash rose color, but in person, it wasn't very lively but rather it felt slightly deep. This color looks different depending on the lips it's applied to, but since it felt nude on both Rosaline and my lips, it's basically a mute rose color. But as the mute is not too strong, it seems to be a good color for all tones. The last and tenth product is Esports Lipstick Nowhere Velvet PK010 Chai Pink. For a velvet lipstick, it has a slightly tacky and smoothly application with a smooth finish and seems to spread well with my fingers. Although it looks to be a muted rose on my lips, I find it to be slightly more lively than the stone brick lipstick from before. Even though it's a chai pink color, it seemed a bit more lively. On Karina's lips, it was a very slightly muted rose color which seemed to give it a natural yet slightly lively feel. And on Rosaline's lips, while muted, it seemed to be a rose color with a white tinge, so it felt like pink. All in all, while this color is a bit more lively than a chai pink and can feel either a bit more pink or white, I think it'd be a good base lip color that is easy to use for cool tone people, but I recommend applying it on lightly when using it as a base or daily as it gives off a mute feeling when applied lightly. Like this, I've introduced some rosy base substitute lip colors. Since the lip color of a person can differ due to their individual skin tone, many people have been asking me what color suits them best in the comments in my lip color reviews. So with that in mind, I did something special and invited Karina and Rosaline to help me out. I hope today's video was helpful and I'll continue to show you various lip colors in various ways in the future. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!